हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ स्टार्ट इंडिया Anka 3, a combat aircraft unmanned system developed by Turkey, was displayed for the first time. The V-shaped aircraft does not have horizontal and vertical stabilization to reduce its RCS. In terms of appearance, the UAV resembles Russia's Otonik, USS X-47B, and BAE's Dharanis projects. The Anka 3 will be powered by a turbofan jet engine. and its maximum takeoff weight will be approximately 7 tons the uav will reach a speed of 0.7 mach anka 3 will have internal and external open stations the aircraft is mainly developed for air to ground missions it will be conduct isr deep strike and suppression of enemy air defense missions considering the bae's proximity to the turkish fighter aircraft projects Anka 3 may be influenced by Taranis and it may be powered by the Rolls-Royce Adour engine with 27 kN dry thrust the same engine which is powering the Jaguar aircraft of the Indian Air Force Turkey is also developing a fifth generation fighter aircraft So some of the stealth technologies will be shared with the Anka 3 platform. The TAI Anka is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries primarily for the Turkish Air Force. Envisioned in the early 2000s for aerial surveillance and reconnaissance missions, Anka has evolved into a modular platform with synthetic aperture radar, precise weapons and satellite communications. So India is a late entrant into the combat drone development programs it has acquired a lot of drone technologies of late through participation of private players and DRDO's various labs if we compare the India's Ghatak stealth UACB project with Turkey's Anka 3 the Ghatak UACB project will be a 15 ton class UAV which is double the size of Anka 3 Ghatak UACB project was started in 2013 when DRDO was assigned to do a feasibility study. However, the project has completed some of the major milestones over the years. Swift, a one-ton class UAV developed as a technology demonstrator of the Ghatak UACB project, has completed taxi trials and fast autonomous flight in July 2022. The UACB operating in a fully autonomous mode exhibited a perfect flight including takeoff waypoint navigation and a smooth touchdown these flights make a major milestone in providing critical technologies in developing high speed landing gear technology and to test the stealth characteristics of the platform Swift UACB was powered by a NPA Saturn 36 mt turbofan engine whereas the khatak uscb will be powered by dry cavalry engine which will produce a 50 kN class thrust similar to turkey india is also developing a stealth fighter called amka so some of the sub systems will be shared with khatak stealth uscb like navigation system communication systems and internal weapon base The successful completion of high altitude tests of dry cover engine is also another major achievement by India. The engine was tested successfully at the Central Institute of Aviation Motors in Russia, simulating an altitude of 13000 meter. India has already initiated a program to manufacture six number of dry cover engine which is being executed by Godrej Industries. These engines could be used to manufacture the prototypes of Ghatak UACBs. The timeline of Ghatak UACB could be similar to Hal Anka timeline as many of the sub systems are being shared by these two platforms. Considering the defense cooperation between Turkey and Pakistan, 
Some of these highly capable platforms made by Turkey may land up in our neighborhood. It can be rest assured that defense planners of India could be monitoring the rapid developments of Turkey in defense sector and any cooperation or participation of our western neighbor. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe our channel and share your thoughts in the comments box. Jai Hind! Thank you.